Hey everyone's Dev here and welcome to the Luna Overview. I think Overview, not like a full playthrough. I'm not entirely sure because the game kind of looks like one of those 30 minute experience, right? Just like with Baba Yaga and those kind of like interactive storytelling games. Normally it would be like creative animation of some indie studio, but this seemed to be an actual game with like a progression system, so we're gonna treat it as such. From the looks of the trailer, Luna seems to be a calm puzzle storytelling game, a lot of cartoony animations and just like a very peaceful vibes. It very much reminds me of Ghost Giant, obviously, with the whole being a third person that interacts with the world around you and steering the storyline of the main protagonist. Personally, I'm interested in playing it, not necessarily from the gameplay perspective because it is known to me already, but with adventure games I'm always drawn to the storyline and like the core messages about it and just pretty much journey through it. That to me what's this genre all about. The main plot seems to be that we are recovering the memories of a bird who lost it due to just eating a moon or something like that and in order to do that we have to interact with environments animals plants everything that help the birds go back home it's a very simple premise but who knows what will happen on that journey you know maybe someone will kill someone or <laughs> no, no it's not that game though this is one of those that won't ever get like you know a huge coverage from youtubers or just like anyone else especially in the climb to they release right but i'm always the person that will no matter what do an overview of anything that's releasing on the store that's pretty much my job here and that's what I'm known for. Not judging by the cover of the whole project and just experiencing it myself because that is the right way of thinking in terms of being a reviewer, not listening to others. Nevertheless, I'm interested. I mean, I'm a chaotic person myself, so experiences like that bring me down to earth. Chirp, chirp, let's see. Luna, what do we have here? <laughs> Our hands are plants or seeds? Subtitles on language storybook mode. I wonder what that means. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Okay, let's just play. Ask anyone and they will tell you. The moon is always changing. Hmm? Night after night it shifts, waxing and waning, winking at Earth from its place in the sky. But it wasn't always so. There was a time when the moon stayed full, frozen and changeless, a precious stone set into the darkness. But nothing stays the same forever. Things change, and bit by bit the moon was consumed, until one night only a small sliver remained. Mm hmm? we have here. Ah, wow. <laughs> I mentioned the ghost giant kind of reference to the graphics. Bird, adding the finishing touches to but I forgot about Curious of the Stolen Pets. <laughs> the fibers tightly, hoping it will hold throughout the long dark night. Cutie. Oh, oh my god. Settling down for the evening, excited, exhausted, and alone. <laughs> or so it thought. Oh damn. <laughs> but Hello, now, big guy. Watching. Well, don't look at me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You have something? Al knew all too well the loneliness bird held in its heart, and knew just what bird was missing. See how beautiful the moon is, bird? I know its name. Call to it. It can make you feel safe. Huh? It can make you feel light again. Whole. Oh. Don't do it. Serenading the moon, Bird felt excited. Its fragments sparkled and shined with hope. But in the void that was left, a terrible storm grew, blowing the bird far away from home. No! <laughs> Sneaky big owl. Bird arrived in a strange place, 
a broken place Aww. full of fragments and shards, lost. Looking for a path home, Bird felt only confusion and doubt. She's kind of like indicating for us what to press, I think. Okay. I love that there are transitions. Bird saw the stars. The stars would light the way. Piecing together the constellations would help untangle this mess. Mm hmm. Singing felt good somehow. <laughs> This is like a cute puzzle. It's very understandable to me, just creating shapes, you know? Like closed shapes, see? And that's like a tree. The path became clearer. Each note filled bird with hope. Hmm. Is this a hummingbird? I'm not an expert on birds, but I think hummingbirds are like those ones, I mean, from the name, like sing, right? I think. And I can hear when I'm pressing the stars, he sings as well. I think I have to do shapes like that, that, that does not like coincide with each other. What's that? <laughs> ah, okay. He's so cute though, get down. It's a melody, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think here. Here. Each soul brought back more memories. What has this? <laughs> Last one. Oh damn, okay. <laughs> it looks complicated, but I think it's gonna be fine. It's kinda like when you drag the star to the place, it's confirming for you if it's the correct one or not. See, for example, this one is, yeah. So like you can just go by trial and error, to be honest. But when you're looking at the lines, they just don't need to correlate with each other. That way it's like easier to guess what to create. A turtle? I know that shape. Now I remember. It beat its tiny wings and took off in the direction of Turtle's Pond. Ah, so we were finding the way home basically, because that owl tricked us. Bird recalled the serenity of this pond. It had comforted Bird, alive with the sing song hopscotch of frogs at play. But oh, how it had changed the first step. Whoa, wait, what? what? Planting a mighty spruce tree. Huh? Oh, we're planting wherever we want. Oh, we're choosing the color? And the, the angle? And the <laughs> Okay. Little by little, the pond began to revive. Branches okay, stretched spin. their fingers, leaves unfurled in the sunlight. Memories, like the plants, began to awaken and grow, taking root in the wet soil. <laughs> That's interesting that we can like can create whatever we want in the environment and that way we progress through the game. Creatures <laughs> croaked and buzzed in the sunlight. But where was the turtle that bird once knew? And uh, I think we're missing No, we're actually not missing anything. What now though? It's literally Bob the Builder in Curious Tales of the Sun and Pets or something. Okay, we are done with that. <laughs> we can play on everything. My dude, what to do? I think we're starting for a turtle, but I'm not entirely sure where or like what I should do. I mean it's a puzzle game after all, so I have to just figure it out. Hmm, those are level selects. So we're searching for the animals that the bird knows, and that's how we progress. But hot damn, I thought it's gonna be way 
easier. This is like, you really have to think what to do. Maybe I'm just placing the plants in not a correct places. I have to basically listen to the narrator. That way I know if I'm progressing or not. Dude, this is hard. I don't know. This game I think is breaking me. Damn, I would not think that was gonna be possible. Okay, well, we'll stop here and we'll continue the playthrough. Because this is actually a fully realized game from what I can see like in the menu, right? I'm surprised, to be honest. I was kind of wrong to say that it's like Ghost Giant in a similar fashion, but I feel like this is way closer to Curious of the Stone Pets. I just forgot about this game pretty much. And just like Curious of the Stone Pets, this game I enjoy, but it's way harder. God damn. But then again, I'm more curious to play through it then. I love the art style, especially the sequences that you go like closer to the characters. Like this sequence with the bird and the owl and the moon. That was pretty fun. And the sound design, stuff like that. I'm intrigued and we're gonna do a playthrough of that of course. When? It's a good question because there's a lot to do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious.